It is very humbling as a man of age nearly 53 that a sexual predator is shaving my legs at night. I wake up and my legs are strangely itching to the point that I recognize that my legs have been shaved. When I was held in a tower in a men's unit in Marion County, I was often paraded in front of their employees. There was a nurse from a company that was an outsourced group that constantly paraded people by me, pointing me out to other people. It got really old and it was really a form of abuse. She was a black woman who just didn't care that I had medical rights and privacy rights that were nobody's business. At the same time, there was white officers, male officers, that would parade me in and out to different opportunities and spaces. And despite the fact that I used my free time and my free cash to write letters to religious groups to get the jail books on behalf of me and other prisoners, they, it's not like they didn't know how to do what they did to me. In life, we have the truth to speak of our life. That a family member lied multiple times to local police to create a lit litany of litigation abuse on my name. To destroy my rights that God had planned for my life. And to destroy my business and company was done by another sibling. Who thought she'd just pretend to be me commit cyber crime with her husband on me, identity theft by continuing to manipulate my lawful records online because she doesn't care for me the way she should. And then I have another sibling who works in the community with local police and her bastard husband who couldn't produce a fucking living for them if he tried, and openly a daughter of hers that does something on human trafficking. And guess what? Now, that niece's uncle is being human trafficked to someone in a community far away. You see, I moved across the state line to be closer to my birthplace and my future death place. And the fact that I'm supposed to have a burial plot that was given to me in my father's name for me and my significant other. But openly what my mother did was lie to me. And when I ask about my late mother's situation, and when I ask about who's paying attention, what I know is the laziness of my siblings and the stupidness of their understanding of the world today. And probably for all I know, they've been closing out my mother's estate, which is fine by me, because it all belonged in property-wise to my late father and my late mother. But here's the thing. The shitbags of a family who are so fucking jealous of what Jesus Christ did through my father to support me are taking that inheritance, buying farms without probably permission, and openly screwing my life every day.